Cool. Do you get nervous before a race? Yeah, massively nervous. I think it was even the same in karting. You know, when you're on the grid, you're in the final or whatever, you're kind of just sitting there waiting for the start. Then you come across the line to, to start the race. I think it's exactly the same feeling. You just don't want to crash, first of all, and you want to do well. So you're already like, as soon as you're going off the line, you're thinking, what can you do to try and overtake? So I think the feeling you get on the grid in karting is exactly the same feeling. Maybe a little bit more when you get to F1. What's the biggest change from a Formula One to a go car? One of the biggest things probably is the braking. You're used to hitting the brake pedal so hard in Formula One, or like any car, really. And uh, in karting, you have to be so gentle. And when you go from the car to the cart, like it's hard to be so gentle again and kind of, you don't want to lock up all the way and you don't want to just not lock up at all. So you want to find that like perfect limit. And finding that limit, I really struggled with. And even went off the track because I locked up too much. How did the race Max Verstappen on the track? He's obviously very aggressive. I think everyone knows that. So I think you have a lot of just respect for him because of the driver he is and how good he is. And you know, that he's going to be aggressive, but at the same time, you know there's that level of that he'll have a lot of respect for you as well. And he knows how to race. Like we did a lot of races online on sim racing together. And although we crashed a lot, um, they kind of, you almost get to figure out how he drives and how he races and so on. So he's aggressive, but then I think he has a lot of respect. And uh, I think that's what you need to be as a, as a driver. So he's cool. Do you speak a bit of Dutch? Dutch, a clean picture. Do you do as well? Yeah. Is that where you're from? Belgium. Oh, whereabouts? Um, Antwerp. Oh, lovely. You don't much Belgian chocolate then? Mm, I don't. Fritjes? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. How did you originally get into contact with McLaren? Like, did you always want to drive for McLaren? You knew you wanted to be with McLaren, or did it just kind of happen and you were like, oh, sure, let's go with it? Did you swear? <laughs> did you just swear? No, I said, oh, sure, let's go with oh, it. Oh, well, sure, right. <laughs> there is something else. <laughs> Since I was a kid, McLaren was the team I supported the most. So since I was young, then I always wanted to join McLaren. Personally, I always wanted to join them, but then quite quickly, and I think it was 2016, I won the award, became the simulator driver. I did a good job. And, um, and then they also took me on as a, as a full-on driver as well. So uh, both. I always knew I wanted to go with them, and uh, through good results, then I also got to go with them. So Lando, what was your favorite race this season and why? I would say my favorite one was probably Monaco. Actually, as a feeling, it's one of the worst races you can possibly feel because you're so scared of crashing the whole time. But then when you cross the line at the end, Monaco is a very special place to get a poke. Which overtake this season was your favourite? Is there any specific one that just holds a special place in your mind? Oh, Zandvoort I did one. Zandvoort, uh, turn seven, like a really fast right-hander um, on lap one, around the outside of, uh, of Yuki. Uh, that was quite a decent overtake. We see a lot on TV your relationship with uh, Carlos Sainz. It's, yeah. it's like the best relationship I've ever seen of friends. And um, you miss him a lot when he's in the <laughs> other garages and stuff. I miss, uh, I miss like the laughs we, we had together. And you know, we used to spend a lot of time, because then he lived in England a lot of the time. So we'd play golf together, we'd drive on the simulator together. There's nothing more that we wanted than to beat each other. But at the same time, when we're out of the car, um, as much as we still wanted to beat each other, we just had a lot of respect and like our interests were, were very similar, you know, so um, Yeah, we had a lot of good laughs together and we still do now even though he's in a different garage What is your mum and dad like at the race scene? My mum very rarely ever comes to a race. When she does, she gets extremely nervous I don't think they can normally watch the first lap, especially the start. Same with my dad. So my dad normally comes to a few more um, but he can never watch the start. I think he always has to like leave the room so he can't see any TV for the start, just so he kind of you know, doesn't see what's going on. My mum's just, mum's a mum, you know, it's just always, always, always worried for you, always want the best, and always scared for you. What's your second favorite sport after F1? Uh, second favorite sport? Uh, I think golf's a sport, so. But for me, golf, I, like uh, you think the same way as you think when you're driving. Your mentality is how can you hit the next shot or if it's karting, how can you suddenly make the next corner the best corner you can do? Why did you use pizza helmet? Why did I use a pizza helmet? Because of Italy. Because you come to Italy, the first thing you want is a beautiful pizza. I think my favorite helmet was my Japanese helmet I had two years ago. It was all hand, hand painted with a brush. Oh, what else? I would say my Valentino Rossi helmet that I had. Like it wasn't my design or anything, but it was just 
meant a lot to me because he was my hero growing up. So those two were probably my, my favorites. But I know a lot of people love the, the pizza one. Do you go to the toilet in your race car? <laughs> uh, never, not once. So not even in karting, not ever in a race. Uh, not even in the, I did 24 hours of Daytona. I had like three and a half hours in the car, but I really needed to, but I can't do it. I don't know why. I couldn't make my mechanics clean up a seat that I've had to go to the toilet. So, uh, so I know some people that do. I know some people in Formula One that do go to the toilet while they're driving, which I think is disgusting. I recommend never to do it because you'll smell. <laughs> All the best. Good luck this weekend. <laughs>